Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, to the world away, and we've now got part two of the C3PO project, and this time we're making the head. Now how on earth did I get it to this stage here? Well, I will tell you, I had to uh, take the thing apart, paint it, uh, put electrics in it, and uh, you'll see that later on in this video. Uh, but I'm having to re-record the start now, because I didn't record the start last time, if that makes sense, I just went straight bullet in a china shop and got on with it. So I'll try and talk you through uh, how I painted it, how I did the electrics, and uh, we'll finish this video by showing you the completed head. Okay, if you remember in the last video, I had done the blackout of these units here, and I'll just show you what they look like. As you can see, they are pretty dark. You're not gonna get any light bleed through them at all, but it wouldn't matter because on the other side, obviously we're gonna be putting the gold paint on. Now, what I was gonna do now was put the electrics in, but I'm not gonna do that yet. I was all ready to uh, get them all created. As a matter of fact, I have created them and I'll show you how I do that in a minute. Um, but it occurred to me that when the electrics go in, this piece is actually gonna to go together. So it's probably beneficial to start painting it now. And this will be a chance to see what this paint's gonna look like when it goes on. Now I've created a little paint booth which I'm going to be putting on here uh, so we're going to get both of these bits painted with this gold paint and hopefully it comes out all right I've got no idea what this is going to look like but let's see how it looks okay now before I do the spray paint I am just going to paint a little bit of area on the battery pack because this bit here is going to need to be gold anyway and I've got no idea what this looks like so let's have a look at this now well it looks like a pot of gold doesn't it <laughs> that looks pretty cool what do you think? That's gone on really well. Okay, so what we're gonna do, now we know that's okay, I'm gonna let that dry for a second, and then we'll put the C3PO on here. Now the secret is to give it a light coat to start off with and then go over afterwards. And I'll just do this back bit as well. looking good obviously I need to uh, let that soak in and dry out now so there we go and look looks pretty cool doesn't it it looks a lot better than I thought it would do that's for sure a um, couple of other things I want to do I've taken the blue tack off the eyes now and uh, I've been debating whether to put some black inside the mouth it is actually a really dark golden shadow on the actual uh, Star Wars films but I am going to emphasize it with a little bit of black so I have loaded my uh, brush up here this is going to be really detailed to do this so let's see how uh, gentle I can be And there we go, that's what it looks like with a little bit of black just on the mouth there. Um, didn't want to go too far overboard with that, I just wanted to uh, give it the emphasis of that. Um, something to mention about the chrome. Now the chrome is on there. Uh, for standing on the shelf over there and stuff like that, it's going to be absolutely fine. But uh, if you want to play with this and stuff like that, um, it's not going to be that durable. And that will probably eventually scratch off and stuff like that. Uh, if you try and put a lacquer or a varnish on that, it will completely get rid of that shine. So you don't want to do that. Um, but the way I've done it, pretty cool as you can see, is looking just like that. Really good. That's uh, C3PO's head done. Now, before we put the head together, I'm just going to put this to one side at the moment and these bits here, because uh, we're going to talk about the electrics. And to do the electrics, you're going to need a couple of things. Uh, what I've done is I've used this circuit board. I'm going to be using this circuit board. This circuit board, just so you know, is eight centimeters long by two centimeters wide. That fits absolutely perfect into the back of this unit. Uh, just show you here just like that in there. As you can see, it will lock in there and it, it doesn't get in the way of this bit going over the top of it. Looks absolutely brilliant, but uh, that's what I've mounted the LEDs to. But before I talk about the electrics and what I've mounted and stuff like that, uh, I've actually already done a diagram on here. So I want to explain exactly what we're doing here. If I turn this on, as you can see, I've just used two different lights here, but this is how I'm going to wire this to the circuit. Uh, if you've never seen a breadboard before, I will explain this in my Arduino, Arduino videos, but basically if I put a, a power socket in one of the rails here, it will make that whole rail, whatever that power socket is. So as you can see, I've got a, power, a, plot, a positive side here, 
which makes all of these dots at the top here be positive. And I put the negative side on the next one down. Again, that makes all of those dots um, negative. Now, on the middle ones, it actually runs the other way. It runs this way. OK, so the way I've got this at the moment is I've got uh, positive and minus on these two little circuits here. I don't know if you can see that, probably on that side camera there. Uh, so we've got a negative coming out into the negative of the LED here. And the positive is coming out via resistor into the positive of the LED there. And I've done exactly the same thing for the other LED. So when I actually apply power, they both come on. Now these LEDs are in parallel. If I was just trying to put them in uh, serial, so in other words, just sharing the same one as this, the front one would light and the back one would barely light. Now I'll put a resistor in these as well. That's a 220 ohm resistor. But to be honest with you, 4.5 volt, uh, volts with two LEDs, it's not going to blow them. These are 5 mil LEDs. So that is the thinking behind of how I've wired this up. And that needs to be transferred now to a circuit board, which I love these blue Peter moments. <laughs> Here's one I made earlier. And there we go. Bit of a mess. But uh, it's going to do the job. As you can see, I've got the lights on this side and I've got that connection. You just saw that all wired into the circuit board. So what we're going to do is we're going to put all of this together now. So uh, the head will be completed. Now, I don't want to get my grubby fingerprints and marks and scratches on that lovely paintwork I've done. So I'm actually putting on some latex gloves uh, to put this in. Hopefully, it's going to look pretty good when it's all uh, attached and stuff, but let's see how we go from there. So, first thing we do, we get the uh, R, called R2 then, C3PO's head unit. And as I showed you earlier on, this is just going to fit into this gap here and here. And there you go, that fits absolutely perfectly in there. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the wires into here, probably best on the top camera here. And I am going to put a little bit of masking tape because I want these wires to come out of this hole just down the bottom here. I'm going to put a little bit of masking tape just on the inside there. And that will just stop the uh, wires dancing around and doing their little merry old game there. Okay, so that's looking like that. Okay, so then we put these bits in and just these go just over the ledge on that side there. And on the other side, they go over the ledge on that side there. So they look just like that, probably best on top camera again. And then what I'm doing is I've got a little bit of foam, which I'm gonna be putting just around the electrics on this bit. This is just some, uh, I don't know, it's about four mil by the look of it foam. Uh, this is just gonna help with the, uh, uh, the light bleed. Obviously I've stopped it as much as I can, but if I was to wrap this up as well, it is really gonna make sure that that direction of the lights in there is only going to go for the uh, the eyes and nothing else. Uh, and believe me, I've already checked it. Once I've done that, uh, it will actually fold down completely, absolutely perfectly together without any pinching. So then we're going to put the thing together. So this is where things get a little bit funny. There we go, and that's everything together there, making sure that all the lines are in, it's looking good. And then all we've got to do is put one, two, three, four screws in then, as you can see, we've got the lights coming out the bottom there. I am just going to make sure that the lights do illuminate when I put them in, and remember they're directional. So the, the, power, the, the, the positive needs to go on the positive, the negative needs to go into the negative. If it isn't, it's not going to light. <laughs> so I'm going to put these in, and I'm going to pray that it turns on. As a matter of fact, I don't think you have seen this turn on yet. So I did put a little thing on social media to show what that looks like, but uh, let's see what we get. Okay, I'm gonna turn the light out here, just so you can see, and there we go. That's what that's gonna look like. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> I'm just gonna show you one more time on my close-up camera there. There we go, and then... Pretty cool. So, let's get this thing screwed together. Very gentle when I'm screwing these in. <laughs> I don't want to break it. Put this one in there. And there we go. That is C3PO's head completed. So there you go. That's the head completed. The next thing we're going to be doing is the body because I need to get this battery pack here 
just like that into the back of the C3PO unit. I'm gonna have a switch on there uh, because it's gonna be sitting on the shelf. There's no power sockets around there, so I need it to be battery operated. Uh, so I'll be able to just turn it on and off, just have the lights glowing up. I'm not gonna be doing anything else. I'm not gonna be putting sounds in it. And I'm not gonna be making the thing walk in. I know some people have been asking me that. Uh, but if you do wanna get hold of the basic model for this yourself, then just head over to bit.ly forward slash world of Wayne. Uh, and that will take you to my uh, Amazon store and you'll see it in there. As I said in the last video, it's 35 pound. Uh, and then you could do these mods yourself. Uh, the other thing is, if you want to discuss this build or any other builds that are out on the uh, marketplace at the moment, then just head over to World of Wayne forward uh, World of Wayne dot Pro Boards dot com, uh, and we've got a discussion forum group there, so uh, you can join that and uh, interact with the community uh, and share your passions. But uh, I hope you like that video. I can't wait to get started on the body next. Take care.